we must keep our eye open and pray for protection because your enemies have sold their souls and joined forces with witches to see your future. I'm going to say that again. They have sold their soul to witches and warlocks. And what they want to do now is because they see that they can't beat you. They want to see your future chosen family. I'm going to show you proof according to scripture that this is the case. All right. Pay close attention to this scripture right here. We're going to show you about King Herod. All right. And how. It's so important to understand when to speak and when not to speak and what to say and who to say it around. You got to be careful because you never know if your position, if you're going to be taking the next person's position who's listening to you. I'm going to break it down. So watch this. Let me, let me give you context of description. So it was when Jesus was born. Okay. And King Herod got word that Christ was being born. Listen very closely to this scripture because this applies to your life as well. This applies to you when it comes down to the nine to five. This applies to you when it comes down to your everyday life. Okay. Pay close attention to the scripture. Here it is. This is Matthew. This is Matthew 2 1. <clears throat> it says this. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have not seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Here it is. When the Herod, the king, had heard these things, he was troubled. That's a breakthrough. Chosen family, I need you to really listen to this. King Herod was in position. He was the king. But the wise men told him that we're searching for Christ, which will be the future king of the Jews. Oh, my God, this is powerful. Oh, my God, this is powerful. Oh, my goodness, this is powerful. This scripture here is an example of your come up. You're next in line to be blessed abundantly by God. Beware of the souls of the King Herods that's in position that's been there before you, okay? Because if they get word that you're next, here's what they're going to do, all right? Pay close attention. So it says this saying, where is he that is born the King of the Jews? So where is Christ at? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Here it is. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled. And all of Jerusalem with them. So everybody that heard it that was in Jerusalem at that time, they were troubled. You want to know why? It's because they heard that King Herod was going to be demoted. Okay. They heard that there's going to be someone else that was going to take his position. All right. Watch this. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. So he now reached out to the witches, the warlocks, the people who can, uh, um, who can, the people who can see time. All right. He reached out to them to, or who can interpret dreams and, and time. He reached out to them to see where Christ was located at. All right. <clears throat> the same thing that I'm exposing here on this scripture. This is what people that's against you in your life. They go to the psychics, witches, and warlocks. This is what they're doing, all right? They're trying to find out where you're going in life so they can beat you there to destroy you. And I'm going to prove that to you by scripture, all right? Watch this. So it says this. And when he gathered all the chief and priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And when they said unto him, in Bethlehem of Judea, <clears throat> for thus it is written by the prophet. So God allowed them to get a little bit of information, just enough to tell King Herod where Jesus Christ was going to be born. See, I'm telling you this because I need you to understand this. 
God will consume the enemy in their wickedness in the end. All right. Oh, my God, that's powerful. I'm going to say that again. God will allow the wicked to see just a little bit about you so they can pursue you. Once they pursue you, God will turn it around and destroy them in the sin. He will destroy them in witchcraft. God will actually meet them. All right. In the dark realm. How do I know this? Because God did it to Saul. When Saul seek counsel of a witch, all right, and he seek the spirit of um, Samuel, God showed his face. That's powerful. God's voice spoke through the spirit of Samuel and told Saul his judgment. I need you to hear me because this witchcraft stuff goes deep. But I need you to understand something that we serve a God that will come up on earth and help us out. And he will go down below. Somebody put that down in the comment section below. Someone put down, we serve a mighty God. It's powerful. Oh, thank you, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, y'all were here. Oh, oh y'all. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Sorry, y'all. Well, I won't say sorry. I'm giving the gospel. All praises. How y'all doing? All right. So I need you to understand that the way God operates is God will actually, um, he will fight for us here on heaven. And he will also go down in the dark realm and give judgment. So those people who's doing voodoo and those people who's doing all the witchcraft and things like that, that's behind the scenes. God's going to eventually get them in the end and he's going to allow them to do those things. He will actually give them a small vision to see a little bit into your life so he can destroy them in the end. OK, that's what a lot of people don't understand when you go out and seek counsel and and do all of these things from a, from the psychics. You got to repent because God is showing you. All right. That. um. He's the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end. And he's trying to actually warn you and help you out and bring you out of that. So if you are into any of that darkness, you got to repent. So God don't visit you. OK, because God will pay you a visit. All right. Now, let's get back to the scripture. So King Herod, he got word that Christ was going to be the future king of the Jews. Because of this, it intimidated him by his position. Chosen family, I need you to understand something. My name is Crystal Life Coach, by the way. I'm on YouTube. I need you to understand this, that um, King Herod was intimidated based off of his position, okay? He was threatened by the presence of Christ. Christ was, uh, he was only, how old was Christ? Christ had just been born, all right? Understand that Christ wasn't an adult. So because Christ was just born and he wasn't an adult, that goes to show you that um, the enemy can be intimidated uh, by you even when you're starting out. When your business starts out, the enemy can be intimidated by you. OK, you got to be careful about telling people about your dreams and about who you are, because premature uh, notification to the enemy can cause a long term destruction for the dreams that God has for you. That's powerful. That's powerful. I'm going to say that again, prematurely giving the uh, the enemy alert on what you're about to do. This is why you got to move in silence. Giving them information on where you're going can be intimidating to the enemy in the end. So you got to be careful about who you're talking to. You got to be careful about who you're speaking to because that person that you're talking to can be your King Herod. Let me get amen. That person who you're speaking to can be Saul on the other end. Amen. Watch this. Now, here it is. I'm going to show you the power on how God is working in your life. I'm going to show you right now through the scripture. Watch this. It says this. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And though Bethlehem and the land of Judea are not the least among the princes of Judea, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, notice the word it says privately, y'all. Okay? That's him going out seeking counsel to the wise men. All right? Privately. Let's see why he did it. It says this. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star shall appear. So King Herod thought he was slick. He went to the wise men without anybody being around to ask them in private, when will the star appear? What time? Now watch this. This is very powerful. Watch this. It says this. And he sent them 
to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me <clears throat> word again that I might come and worship him also. Wow. Shapeshifter. Chosen family, listen to your brother. Your enemies out there are shapeshifters, just like King Hira. We just identified by scripture before he told the wise men privately, okay, that he wanted to worship Christ. He just told the people around Israel that he was there to destroy them. Let me get an amen down in the uh, comment section below. That's powerful. That's powerful. A double, listen, listen, that's why you got to be careful. That's why I'm telling you these people got reprobate minds. They will lie to you and say they'll support you. Oh, that's powerful. Huh? They'll say, yeah, Crystal Life Coach, I'll support you, man. And the whole time they're sitting there trying to destroy me. You better take heed to what I'm telling you. This is real. Shapeshifters. Paul told us, all right, that they can shift. All right. Paul knew these scriptures. That's why Paul told you that they would transform themselves of apostles of Christ. So here he is. He's on there now telling the wise men, hey, yeah, bring the little man Christ to me. <laughs> bring him to me. I can't wait to see him so I can worship him. you liar. He didn't want to worship him. This is what he wanted to do. Just, he wanted to destroy him. Watch this. Powerful. So it says this. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I might come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Here it is, y'all. Pay close attention to this. So the three wise men, they saw the sign. So they rejoiced. All right, watch this. <clears throat> it says this. And when they saw the star, they rejoice with exceeding joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And they had opened their treasures. They presented unto him gifts, gold, all right? And they pre <coughs> presented the gifts to, uh, to uh, Mary, all right? Watch this. I mean, to Christ, watch this. Here it is now. This is the big part of the scripture that I need you to understand on what resonates with me and you chosen family. Watch this. And being warned of God in a dream that they shall not return to Herod, they departed into their uh, country another way. That's a break, bro. Hold on now. For everybody out there that's saying that God don't warn us through dreams, you're a liar. Oh my God, that's powerful. God warned the three wise men in a dream of the plan of King Herod. Listen to me right now. That's why I told you, chosen family, your discernment about them was correct. You were right about them the entire time. How do I know? Because you survived. God vindicated you. God has leveled you up and he has taken your enemies down. Let me get amen. Your survival is proof that God was working through you the entire time. I'm going to say that again. Your survival is proof that God giving you word, just like he gave the three wise men word, is proof that God is with you. Somebody give God a, give God a praise. God warned the wise men and told them don't return because King Herod was a liar. He didn't want to worship Christ. He wanted to kill him. So they didn't challenge God. They was obedient. And they went their own way. Watch this. <clears throat> and when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream saying, arise and take the young child and his mother and flee Egypt and be thou until I bring thee word for here I will seek the young child to destroy him. So there you go. The angels of the Lord is communicating with us. God is communicating. Man, this is powerful, man. What a word, man. What a word. So when you get discernment, listen to that discernment it could be the angel of the lord giving you warning to protect you so you don't get destroyed powerful the angel of the lord came to mary and told her that the enemy was after christ 
The angel of the Lord been coming to you, chosen family, keeping you protected. That's why you're here right now on this channel, sitting back, listening to the word of God, because you know it was nothing but the angel of the Lord that communicated with you to give the message of God. You got to understand something. We got messenger angels and we got angels of war. People who don't understand how God is set up and how God is operated, they don't understand how God works. So they don't know the angels of the Lord. They don't understand how God is working. God has aligned us with spiritual angels to protect us every step of the way. Here's what happens. When you're in sin, you lose that protection. Amen. When you're in sin, the angels don't communicate with you anymore. That's why your brother get on here telling you to repent and get out of sin so you can keep this protection forever. This is powerful. See, when you sin, you go against how God designed you to be. Amen? Amen? That's why I tell you to repent. That's why I tell you to keep the commandments of God. Because when you repent and keep the commandments of God, you keep that protection. You got to understand that the, the, the devil's plan is to take this protection away. Oh my God, this is powerful. Isaiah 54, 17 says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Okay, so that means that nothing that the enemy do shall prosper in our life. The only time that it will prosper is if that protection is removed. I'm going to say that again. The only time that the enemy can prosper at destroying you is when they can remove the protection from your angels. If they can remove that protection, then the enemy can creep in. That's why the Bible tells you, be sober in your mind. Meaning this, don't alter how I made you. Oh, this is powerful. Why? Because the devil is like a roaring lion seeking who he can devour. When you go out of your natural state and your protection is gone, the devil can devour you. Oh my God, that's powerful. So understand this, that when here I got message, <clears throat> he went around and this is what he did. I'm going to show you how wicked your enemies are. He took revenge. All right. This is what he did. It says this. It said, Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. And he was there unto the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, out of the Egypt have I called my son. Now watch this. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceedingly mad. Okay, wrath, which means anger. Okay, he had great anger when he when he didn't see the wise men return back. All right, so watch this. This is what he did. All right, it says this. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts thereof from two years old and under. Christ was two years old. Christ was two years old. So what Herod did to try to uh, beat um, God to the punch. Oh my God, that's powerful. See, that's what I want you to know. The enemy goes to psychics and all of these things like that to get that little information to beat God to the punch. Listen to me right now. What he did to beat God to the punch, he went out and slew all the children under two years old. Oh my God, that's powerful. Here it is. From two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men, then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jer by Jeremy the prophet, saying, "In Rama was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning." All right, Rachel weeping for her ch children, and would not be comforted because they are not. So there it is. That's a breakthrough. So, of course, the weeping and mourning happened. Because that, that wicked enemy, King Herod, sent the mass destruction to the children under two. Okay? This brought great sadness, weeping, and mourning. Okay? It's powerful. And actually, I'm going to do a complete separate video on this wicked enemy, King Herod, just for him alone. Let me get an amen. That's powerful.
That's what I want you to understand. They want to beat God to the punch. Get that little bit of information so they can destroy you. Okay? That's what I want you to know. All right? That's a heavy scripture right there. But I wanted to show you that and give you.